Hi everyone, my name is Monique. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we are going to be continuing our Alexander Pfister series with Oh My Goods. This one came out in 2015, a year that Alexander Pfister had a bunch of games come out. Oh, so yeah. this is the first one on the list that we have up. Uh, it plays two to four players and we are going to be playing with a uh, updated rule set. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we'll show you how that goes. Yeah, so the updated rules variant is for the second edition. I believe the first edition, which is this, actually came out as more of like a quick filler, yep. like kind of get in and out of it kind of game, but had a, a lot of luck. Mm -hmm. And so we are playing with the updated rules so that it kind of reduces the luck, but potentially makes the game longer. Right. So we will see how it goes. Uh, but before we get started, we would like to kindly please ask that you turn on your Klingon subtitles just in case we make any rules mistakes. And if you enjoy content like this and would like to see more, please consider subscribing. And with that, we are going to get started. So if you'd please direct your attention to the center of the table, we are all set up for a two-player game of Oh My Goods here. We have our starting char burners, as well as our uh, worker cards. And both sides are the same. Just depends on what kind of artwork you'd like. Up here, we have our assistants. And then, of course, we have the main deck. So in this game, it is entirely card driven. This, yep. is, this is a card game through and through. But what we're doing is we are workers and we are building buildings and we're going to produce on them depending on uh, the different resources, etc. Mm -hmm. We're also going to have like a market of sorts that's going to show us the type of goods that we can use. And we're going to be hiring assistants to make ourselves more efficient. So that is kind of the whole game in a nutshell. Uh, the game lasts until somebody has built their eighth building. Then you play, play another round, round yep. and then the game ends and whoever has the most points wins. So the way that the game works is everybody has a starting char burner. And that's what this light blue building here is. Uh, it kind of follows the same design as the rest of the cards. The rest of the cards look very similar. They just have different colors and different kind of uh, features on them. And so the way that these cards work is at the start of the game, we are actually going to have, I believe, seven of these, mm -hmm. four, five, six, seven, on top of our char burner as our starting goods. So the cards are multi-use. Anytime you, you see them used on their backside, that just represents a good of whatever type of good that building produces. So in the case of the char burner, if you look at the very middle here, it produces coal. So at the start of the game, you're going to have seven coal on top of that building. And so each coal is worth one buck, essentially. Mm -hmm. So we each are going to start the game with $7 in order to purchase things like buildings. We're also going to start with a hand of five cards, two, three, four, five. And our hand is going to be comprised of all the different buildings that we're going to be trying to build, as well as resources, because each building can either be used as a building or as a resource. And the, the resources are all color coordinated. So the yellow buildings represent wheat, the green buildings are wood, etc. The gray buildings uh, represent stone, but they're a sort of a different type of building. They don't really produce anything, etc. And so the way that a round works is the round is played in four different phases. The first phase, what you're going to do is you draw two cards. Mm -hmm. Just draw two cards from the deck. And then we all go into the second phase, which is where we reveal our our sunrise market, I suppose. And so that is when we are going to be drawing cards from the deck and laying them out until we see two half suns. So if you look closely at the card here in the very bottom left hand corner here, some of them will show like a half sun. Some of them don't have it. So with our first draw already had one. Uh, and then we continue to draw that one doesn't have one. Let's see if we can find another one here. Mm. Wow, this is a Oh, there you go. There go. So there's the second, the second half sun. So once you have two halves of a sun, then what happens is all players are going to simultaneously decide two things, which building they're going to build from their hand, if they'd like to, and where they're going to place their worker, which building in front of them their worker is going to get assigned to. Because what that's going to do is when they, when we actually get into the working phase, depending on which building you assign your worker to, you're going to be able to produce goods. Yeah, you generate more resources. You generate more resources. Mm -hmm. So the way that that works is at the bottom left-hand corner of every card, it tells you the number of resources and the type of resources that you need in order to produce on this card. So my char starting char burner requires two, I believe that's cotton. Yeah, I think so, cotton. Two cotton and one wood. Wood in order to produce coal. And so when we go into the actual production phase of this game, you can, you can use any of the goods from the market in order to satisfy that requirement. And you're never spending the goods from the table. This, mm -hmm. this is sort of like a- It's a common pool. Yeah, it's a common pool. It's a display for all players to, mm -hmm. to use, I, I suppose. Correct, yeah. So, yeah, so if Monique was to use this to satisfy that, 
It's not that she takes this card, it just remains there. And if I needed it, I also have access to it. Exactly. And so my, my starting tri burner requires two cotton. Right now we are only showing one. Uh, and it also requires one wood, which is here. So if I want to produce on this building, I'm going to need another cotton. Mm -hmm. After we do all this deciding, we are going to have another market phase in which we do the exact same thing. It's called the sunset uh, phase, I suppose. And so there, that is another opportunity for me to try to find another cotton. If we finish that phase and I, you don't, we didn't pull another cotton from there, I can discard them from my hand. So that's always an option. But during the, the, the phase where you have to decide uh, which building to assign your worker to, you can actually decide if you want to produce orderly or sloppily. And the difference is that if you decide to produce sloppily, you may pay one less good. Overall. Overall. So this might be a situation where I may want to choose to produce sloppily because it'll guarantee that I'll be able to produce because I only need one more right, cotton. In this moment, you're pressing your luck saying that there's only one cloth and one wood, but you need another cloth. So if in that second phase, another cloth doesn't come and she doesn't have it in her hand, she will at least get something. Exactly, because I produced uh, sloppily. So orderly, perfect requirements, sloppily, um, let one less good needed. Let's say I decide I'm gonna produce sloppily. I'm gonna put my worker there, and then maybe I'm going to build this building. So I'm gonna put that face down right there. And everybody does that simultaneously. Once everybody is ready, then we proceed with the sunset market, in which we would do the same thing. We're going to pull and look for two more half suns, which of course I'm not going to find. <laughs> yeah. And there, there's there, one half. Yeah. Uh, there's yeah, another. Someone. Okay. So in this in this example, I did not pull another cotton. So it might have been a very good thing that I chose to produce sloppily. And then in turn order, we are going to do all of our production. So I would go, okay, my worker was producing here on my char burner sloppily. I see one cotton, one wood. So it was successful. If I produce sloppily and I succeeded, then I produce one good. And I take that good from the draw deck and I put it on top of my building. And now I have one more call. If I had chosen to produce um, orderly and I was able to meet those exact requirements. So I have the one cotton here, one wood. I need one more cotton and I actually have one in my hand. I can reveal this and discard it. And then now I am able to produce. And because I produce orderly, I get two goods instead of one. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. So it, it does benefit you a little bit more in either scenario. If you are able to, to successfully produce, then you get to run your production chain. So at the bottom right hand corner of all of these buildings that produce, there is a specific production chain and it kind of has this like chain symbol right there. And what it's telling you is you can discard from your hand um, any number of that type of resource in order to produce more of that good. So in this example, I, I need to, to discard wood from my hand in order to produce more coal. So I already produced coal by, by doing the, the whole worker thing, but now I can discard wood, which I do have from my hand, and it would go on top of my building as another coal. And now I have an additional coal. And the whole purpose of, of making these goods is so you can accumulate more money in order to build your buildings. So at the top left-hand corner of all the buildings, it tells you the price. So some of them are very expensive. Mm -hmm. This is 17 coins. This is my building here is only uh, two coins. And at the top right-hand corner, it tells you how many points it's gonna be worth at the end of the game. So this is worth two points. So if I wanna build this building, I must pay in goods the amount that it's asking for. So that would be two, two bucks right there. And now I have this building in front of me. And when we go into the next round, I can choose to either produce here or here. Mm -hmm. Your worker can only go to one of the buildings that you have uh, in front of you. And just backtracking a little bit about running your chain, only in successful buildings where you have a worker will you be able to run a chain. So if this was out here, Monique would not be able to run this particular one because there's no worker there and there was no successful uh, resource placed on the card. Just so you can kind of see another example of what uh, kinds of cards are out there. This is an iron smelter. And so it produces iron, but its production chain is looking for stone with coal in combination with coal. And one everybody has a starting uh, coal production building. So if I were to build this in a future uh, turn and I was able to produce on it, and once I run my production chain, what this allows me to do is it allows me to discard stone from my hand as well as coal that I've produced in a different building. And you can do, you do basically, you combine them both in order to make iron. That's like iron, yep. And so what it did was it took my stone from my hand that is giving me no money and my coal 
which is only worth, only, one. only worth one buck, and it's turning them into three bucks each. So six dollars. So six dollars is basically one buck for six, mm -hmm. essentially. And I can do that as many times as I'm, as I'm able to. I just continue to do that from my hand and from the coal market here. As long as you have one for one. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You have to have both. And so this game is all about trying to find those combinations of buildings in order to produce like that. Uh, some other buildings that you'll see are these gray ones that don't produce. These give you extra uh, benefits. So these are the two main types. Um, they're all called, I guess they're all called market offices. I think so. Uh, anything that looks like this will give you a base value of one wheat. Um, it's, it's as if you have one permanent wheat in the market at all times. And then the other market office that looks like this lets you draw an additional card at the start of each round. We are going to be playing with the rules variant, variant which we'll talk about later, which kind of um, changes the effect of this. Mm -hmm. But that is how these work. Now, the, the last thing that I wanted to discuss are these assistants. So these assistants are looking for a specific combination of colors of buildings in front of you. So for example, this assistant wants you to, to build two yellow buildings. And so if ever you are able to meet these requirements and pay their hiring cost, which is at the top left-hand corner, uh, on your turn, when you're building your buildings, etc., you can hire one assistant. And when you hire an assistant, it mu they must immediately be assigned to one of your buildings in front of you. So say I assigned this assistant to my sawmill. And from now on, it's as if I have a worker in that building. The thing about it is you have to produce in full, meaning you have to pay the full amount. There is no sloppy option. Mm -hmm. And it only will ever produce one good for you. But uh, if, the, if it's successful, you can run the production chain as, as normal. They stay attached to that building for the rest of the game unless you decide to move it. Uh, and if you want to move it, you have to pay two coins. And another thing about these assistants is there's only one worker per building. So Monique could never, on a subsequent turn, then use this, this worker over here. Right. Only one worker per building. I would have to pay to move this assistant before placing my worker. Exactly. And that is pretty much the entire game. Uh, we continue playing until somebody has built eight buildings and then you finish the round, play one more round, and then that's it. Score all the points that are showing on your cards. And we are playing with the variant that allows you to run all of your production buildings at the very end, at the very end as if you have workers at all of them. As if every single building was successful that round. Right. Yeah. Production chains. Production chains. Yeah, the bottom right hand corner. And that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. So we are going to get started, but before we do, we just want to uh, kind of detail the five different rules changes yeah. that are accompanied with the second edition. So we already mentioned one of them. The first one is that at the very end of the game, we are going to be able to run all of our production chains just so, you know, we can make use of them. One of the rules is if you're not happy with your hand at the very beginning of a round, you can flush your hand, draw back up that many cards and go from there. Mm -hmm. um, another one is if you decide to build a building and you actually decide that you don't want to build the building, instead of discarding it, it goes back into your hand. Yep. Uh, with that being said, you cannot build a building and hire an assistant in the same, in the same round, same round, right. same turn. So that is a, the other one. Um, you can have more than two assistants now. In right. The, in the previous version, you could only hire two assistants. Mm -hmm. And I think the last rule has to do with the market office. Yes. So the market office used to be where whenever you draw at the beginning of a round, you can draw an additional card just like mm -hmm. every turn. So this market, this uh, rules change makes it so that you can only draw an additional card if you have three or, or less, three right. or fewer cards in your hand. In your hand starting that round. Yeah, at the yeah. start of that round. Yeah, so, so. Little, some balance stuff going on here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also at the very end of the game, this is this is original rules. Uh, you get one point for every five money or five yes. coins that are yep. showing in all of your goods, in addition to all the points already showing. Okay, so we have shuffled. Everything is all set up for our actual gameplay. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see who goes first. But this this part doesn't like really matter so much. Later on, it can matter. Can it? Because for it's, it, yeah, so if there's ever a tie, if we're trying to go for an assistant, it's whoever is the active player or the, the starting player in that moment, so. Ready? Let's do it. Right. Okay. <laughs> you, oh, it's me. it is you. Okay, so we don't actually have like a start player marker. We are going to use this pick. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna put it right in front of me. Just put it with your uh, with your work. Oh yeah. Constantly there. Okay, so uh, we have our starting hand of five cards. We can choose to flush it if we would like, or we can just keep it and draw two to start the round. Okay. I'm gonna keep my hand, and I'm gonna draw two. And then it goes to you. Okay, so we didn't really go over it. Uh, so Monique, as you know, is two cloth and one wood. And Naveen's is? Two stone, one wood. All right, so I already drew my two cards. Okay, so it's my option. I can uh, choose to just draw two cards or I can discard my entire hand, which I'm going to do. I'm gonna discard this. You're gonna keep the discard pile? Yep. Okay, so I draw five. I'm gonna put it up here, actually. 
And then in addition to that, at the first phase of every round, we draw two. So you've already drawn your two, right? Because yep. you're the active player. Okay, so now I have a new hand of seven. So now we are going to open up the Sunrise Market. We don't have to make any decisions just yet. Uh, okay. We are going to see what we have first. Ready? Yep. Okay. Okay, one Sunrise. <laughs> one, uh, one half sun already. Oh, two half suns. What? That's, That's it. Okay. So it looks like all we have wow. is uh, one cotton and one wheat, which uh, I'm not looking too good here. So this is the press your luck part right here where, where we're going to kind of vie if we're going to make sloppily or do it properly. So I'm going to say sloppy for sure, just because uh, there's not even wood or stone out on the board. I'm going to say sloppy as well because I don't want to take any chances in the beginning. Yeah. And so now we also have to decide if we're going to... Build. I have placed my building. You know what, actually, I'm you gonna, I'm gonna okay. say I'm gonna do this perfectly. You are? I'm gonna do it so perfect. Good luck. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> yeah, I am gonna, I'm gonna build this building. And I will build this building. All right, are you ready to see your fate? I am ready. Next half right here, so. Sunset market. Okay, we have a wood with a sun, a clay, another wood, that's it. <laughs> okay. That's it. So that has a sun right there. So we have two suns here, two suns here. We are done. So this is our common pool to work with. All right, so it's right. gonna go to me go first. Ahead. My char burner requires the, the two cotton, I only have one, one up there, and one wood, which, which I have there. At least one. Which means I successfully produced sloppily, okay. so I only get one good. I'm gonna take them to the top of the deck here. And we're actually going to put them at the bottom of every stack, just so we can uh, cycle through properly. Suppose. Yeah, because we use this as currency, uh, if we kept stacking on top, the cards that we got stuck with would never really get cycled yeah. around or less likely to see it cycled around. So we, we're going to tuck it under. Right. So I produced and so now I run my production chain. I can discard as many a uh, wood from my hand as I'd like mm -hmm. in order to produce more coal. So here's my two wood. And so I'm going to go ahead and put it underneath here. So that was two additional coal right there. And I'm going to build my building, which is the market office. So this is that I mean, I wish I, it had the previous power, which is just one additional card every turn, but that yeah. would be kind of uh, overpowered, I think. So, so that's you six bucks. Six bucks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, since each coal is worth one buck. And I'm going to discard these to build that. Now my turn is over. Okay, very good. Well, I needed two uh, stone and one wood. I definitely have the wood. I said I'm going to do this perfectly. There is no coal here, but... <laughs> I do have two coal in my hand, Touché. so I'm going to go ahead and spend these. These are going to go out of the game. So we did do a perfect. So one, two, and one right there. And that gives me two of these. Nice. And same thing like Monique did. I'm going to put them underneath. And then now I can run the production chain. I will. I can run it with wood. I only have one wood to give right now. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one in. Okay. All right. And then now I'm going to go ahead and flip this card over. I'm going to build this one right here. This is the uh, brick manufacturer. Ooh. So I'm going heavy coal and wood. I'm hoping to get some synergies here. And uh, with this one, it's going to cost me five bucks. One, two, three, four, five. And now my five bucks go bye bye. Here you go. Nice. Thank you. All done. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so we are going to Wipe this. move on to the next round. That was it for round one. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. And I'm going to rotate the pick of Destiny to oh, yeah. Naveen. Okay, so now it's my choice. Do I want to keep this hand or uh, flush it? So I'm going to go ahead and flush it. So that's so that three going three. out. So I'm going to pick up five because we draw two extra. I One, too two, will flush three, my hand. Four, I have four. And five. So I'm discarding four. Interesting. I get to draw up six. I don't get to use my market office this time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here you go. Okay. Oh my gosh, what is this hand? It's my goods. Shall we do the sunrise yeah, let's market? Yeah, it. time, to, time to do it. Ready? Yeah. Uh, one wood, one sun. Okay. Oh my Play. goodness. That's it. Oh, that's it. Sorry. Yeah, I uh, saw that last, last card. So let me... Uh, He's going to shuffle that. Shuffle that. He cheated. He okay, so that was it. <laughs> we get one wood and one clay for yeah. this sunrise market. One wood, one clay. Uh, well, I'm going to say I'm a sloppy guy over here. Yeah, I'm also doing sloppy. How much money do I have here? One, two, three, four bucks. <laughs> this is not going to be a good round One, for two, me. One, two, three, four, five bucks. So if I could do it sloppy, I'll get a six dollar. I don't really have much option here, so I will build that You're going to build, huh? Yeah, I, I think I will. Just so we can have some more options for producing. Mm -hmm. well, I slightly regret 
building this. So I can always put a building down. If I don't if I don't build it, I just pick it back up. Yep, according to the new rules. According to the new rules. <laughs> in the first edition, you had to discard the building. It was gone. Okay, I will put that there and I'll make a decision in the future. Okay. Okay. Let's see this sunset market. Okay, name. let's get some Please. stone out there. Oh, one sun. One sun already? Two suns. Oh, oh I'm producing. Wow. Oh, that's... Oh, I should have... Oh, no, no, this is perfect. Okay. <laughs> so it's you first, actually. Okay, it's me first. Well, I'm saying I'm doing it sloppily. It requires one wood and two stone. No stone showing. But I have one stone here. So that stone is going to go out of the game. And well, then discarded. one wood is right there. Yeah, discard. And then I get one over here. Good, because you produce. And then now my wood. option is, do I want to build? I am not going to build this card, and I'm just going to take it back into my hand. You can run your production chain. Are you going to I do should that? probably run my production chain. Yeah. I'm going to run my production chain with this wood. Since Thank I you. helped you, I, I should have 50% of that, of that profit. Yeah, I'll tear this card in half <laughs> for you. Okay. Yeah, right. please don't do And that. I will not be uh, taking this, okay. like I said. So, my turn. I, I uh, said that I was going to produce sloppily, which, good thing I did, because it requires two cotton. We only have one here, and we have the one wood. So I do get one of these, which is a very much needed extra buck. And so now I can run my production chain. So I have one wood in my hand. And now I'm going to build my building, nice. which is a brick manufacturer, just like you. Mm. Except mine was only three bucks. <laughs> so let's pay that. Yeah. One, two, three. Mine yep. requires different resources. I don't know if, if these resources are in less abundance as yours. Wood's but the most common, so... That's probably why. So, there you go. My brick manufacturer is going to produce me brick out of stone and wheat. Yes. Or, I don't think that's wheat. I think that's something... Hey. Uh, some, it's called something else. Yellow? <laughs> yeah. Okay, All right. Perfect. So that is... That's it. Okay. Done. So you will be first player now. Here's your pick. Thank you. This will get wiped. I got you. Okay. Okay. And then now, would you like to discard and do all that stuff? Uh, I think that I'm going to keep my hand and I'm going to draw two. I'm going to discard my three oh cards my and draw five. Come on. I'm really hoping for something great here. I would like some greatness. Okay. Same. All right. All right. I I am going to pull the sunrise cards. Let's see what You're gonna go for Monique's it? market okay. looks like. <laughs> One sun. Uh-oh. Not good, oh Monique. We got one sun. Okay, we have two, wood two wood here. We have a, wheat, a sun. wheat. Sun and done. That's it. All right. Wow. Um, okay. I am okay with that. I don't want to keep producing here. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of stuck producing just here. Just like one buck every time. I'm going to just go for it. You're going for it? Yeah. I'm going to see what happens. Very nice. Uh, and I'm going to build this. I'm going to stick here and uh and say i'm gonna do this perfectly okay uh are you going to build the building uh, yeah i think so <laughs> i'll build this one i mean there there should come a time i suppose when we start skipping building i did last round phases yeah i need to yeah. not build every turn but this is where i'm at so let's see the Would sunset like market something good okay uh, one wheat no sun it's good wood. we got a wood we have one, one stone. stone. Okay. Oh my gosh, that means I can produce. Oh, it's very one good. One stone, one sun. So you're already giving away what's going on. Okay. One. Okay, we've got two. We got two half suns here. Oh my gosh. So this is our market. Wow, that's so ideal for you. It yeah. is ideal for me. Although I, I decided to produce sloppily, which was a good decision. So I am going to produce on my brick manufacturer. It requires two stone. There's only one stone here, but the other two wheat are here, so it produces. Sloppy, yeah. So I'm going to put one brick up here, and now I can run my production chain. Mm. So I can discard um, clay from my hand, as well as the coal from my char burner, in order to make brick. So I have exactly three. Oh. I have three clay and three uh, coal. So I'm just going to put all six of them on top, or a lot of money. I guess below the brick manufacturer. And then now I have some money. You do. So we're doing that. And now I'm going to build my building which is my mill for three bucks. So I'm going to overpay here. Overpay, yeah. Two times so two. Two times, yeah. So this is four bucks for three. There's no change, but at least, at least I built it. Well, that's nice. <laughs> and I have two cards in my hand, which means I can use the market office finally. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry. Okay, well, uh, my char burner, uh, I'm saying I'm doing it perfectly. So we have one stone showing, one wood. I'm going to give up 
I'm gonna give up this, uh, let's give up this one right here. This okay. stone, okay? It's gonna represent, so that was perfectly done. So I get to take two cards, I'll tuck them both under. And then I will run my production chain with this wood that's gonna go under. Very good. Okay. And then now I'm gonna build this one right here, which is gonna be uh, eight bucks. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, so you always have a I always base have wood. Wood in the market. And then this thing cost me three wood, so it'll be nice to just not have to deal with hunting wood. Right. This is my eight bucks, it goes out. That's and me. that's it. That's it. All I right. get the good heart pick. We are halfway through, it looks like. For you. Potentially. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so the pick of destiny goes to you. We're I'm, going to flush that. 38% uh, through. <laughs> okay. So uh, go ahead and I, make your decision. Gosh. I have two cards and I have nothing really working for me. Well, you have a base wood. That's I do nice. have a base wood. You can always count on that. I am going to flush my hand. Yeah, so I'm flushing these two and picking up four. Struggle is becoming realer and realer here. <laughs> Three and four, come on. Okay. Okay. I am going it. to hold on to my hand, um, but, oh, that's interesting. I'm going to hold okay. on to my hand, uh, but since I have this market office and I have less than, I have three cards or less, I can draw three cards out nice, instead yeah. of two. Two, three. It's the first time I actually get to use that power. That's pretty good. Which is nice. Okay. Okay. Time to expose the market. Let's get a nice little run here. Okay, so this is not committed here. I'm just gonna move that down. Same. Okay, wood. Clay. Clay. Okay. No suns. Wood. Ooh, this is a sun with oh. claw or uh, cotton, and sun with wood. Okay, so this is a very woody oh. <laughs> your market office. <laughs> I know. Uh, it, this requires three, and there's three right there, but no stone. Okay, I'm going to commit to being a sloppy guy right over here. Uh, Can't take a chance on stone. I'm going to build this one right here. Oh, you are? Yeah. I, okay. need, I need to get, I can't be I'm two buildings behind. I'm going to say that I'm going to uh, produce on my char burner perfectly. Okay, I'm not going to build. Okay. I'm just going to... Leave it as is. See what happens. See okay. what happens. Here we go. Sunset. So, okay, we have a sun and a sun. That's it. It, it is over. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh uh, gosh. What is this? Okay, you you go first. Well, I said sloppy. Required three wood. One, two, three, which is out there. I don't even need to use my little thing that I bought. Uh, and then uh, it requires one stone. I don't see any stone. Not going to give up any stone here. So it produces sloppily, so that's gonna go one on top here. Oh, and make it move. <laughs> Your production buildings are colliding. They're a little too tight. Yeah, okay, there, go. there we go. And now I can run this production right here, which is very similar to the one that Monique ran earlier. Uh, it requires two clay resources coming from my hand and as much stone as I can, I'm sorry, not stone, uh, coal. So those are gonna come it's together. It's just one clay, one clay, one coal. Exactly, so I'm gonna do two and two. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. One, and two. These mm -hmm. two are going to go in there, there, and that's going to all come together. Sorry if that didn't make any sense. Yeah. I apologize. Let me hold it up a little closer. Uh, my production chain is for every clay and coal that I put together, I produce bricks. So that's exactly what I just did. Yeah. Two for two. My yeah. bad. <laughs> okay. Okay. And I am going to build this guy. It the costs six, yeah, so it's two, four, six, because now bricks are worth two, unlike the coal, which is only worth one. So that's got to get that out of here. Very good. And your weaving mill produces, it look, this looks like cloth. Yeah, I think it's like some sort of fabric. Yeah, you can turn cotton into, yeah, your weaving cloth, I suppose, or fabric, exactly, I guess we can yeah. say. Uh, I'm just taking it for the points, I think, just to catch up. I don't think I'm going to ever use it. Really? Yeah, maybe it's not. A shame. It, it produces three bucks each. Well, we'll see. Yeah, you can we'll, try. We'll, we'll see what happens, yeah. All right, so I am producing on the char burner. I said we're going to produce perfectly or orderly. And so I have one wood here, one cotton, and I need another cotton. So here's one from my hand mm -hmm. that I'm going to discard. So you get two. So I get two of them. And then now I can run my production chain, which is wood. And so I'm going to discard the one wood yes. from my hand to produce. And that is it for me. I did not build this this turn. 
Very nice. Okay, so we both have four buildings. So we're at the halfway point in terms of buildings. The true halfway yeah. point, right? There you go, the true halfway <laughs> point. You're getting the pick. Thank you. And these are going to go away. And we are definitely going to need to reshuffle Here. those. So. Would you like to get started sure. on and that? Sure, since you're the uh, starting player, would you just take two cards? Or are you going to... Well, I have three the... cards in my hand. I can choose to flush them. Yep. Or I can just draw. I think I'm just going to draw. Okay. And because I have three cards in my hand, I draw three cards. Yes. So here's the first two. Get you one more good shuffle here. Yeah, one more good shuffle. Very good. Now I have to make my decision. Now I have a single card in my hand, which is brutal. This is interesting. I'm going to discard the single card and draw three cards. One, two, and three. Okay. Very interesting. We shall see. Okay, I'll just do this. Okay. Okay, we have a sun and wheat, and we have a sun and the... Uh... Oh my gosh, these oh. markets are so short. Oh my gosh. This is brutal for me. Um, I... Oh, yeah. Boy. Well, I'm going to say sloppy in my new building that I said I was not going to work on. Uh, Sheesh. Uh, this is tough. Extremely tough right now. Okay, I'm going to go sloppily here in my brick manufacturer. Okay, I will build one. I'm gonna start building down here. I'm not anything? gonna be building anything because this is uh, gonna be brutal. Okay. Okay, ready? ready? Sun, sun set. Okay, no sun. Stone, hey, I needed that stone badly. <laughs> S one sun. And I'm looking at these cards and it's like, I wish I had sun. those in my hand. Yeah. Okay, so this is it? That's it. This is the entire market? All right, so I'm gonna go first. Sure. I decided to produce sloppily. So I have, I need two wheat and two stone. So I have two wheat and one stone, which is perfect. I don't need to discard anything from my hand. So I'm gonna get one good, and it's producing me a brick that's worth two bucks. Are you gonna be able to run the chain? Yes, I'm gonna run my production chain, which is uh, a pairing of clay and coal. I have three coal in here. I have two clay in my hand. So I'm gonna take two clay and two coal. Or do I only have two? Oh no, I have three, yeah. And they're both gonna go um, You're drawing a lot of clay you. cards there, Monique. My brick I'm manufacturer. I'm struggling to draw these clay cards. Because I have them all. <laughs> you have them all. I'm trying to get this going. I bought this first. You did? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. Okay, nice. Okay, I'm going to build my building, which is the market office. It's going to give me a base stone, which I guess I only need for my brick manufacturer, but it costs eight. So two, four, six, eight. And... Get those bricks back in there. That, yeah. Now you, you can... shuffle these... Badly. You can get some bricks back into your hand. Okay, so I said sloppy over here. Uh, it required two stones, so there's one here. It requires uh, two of these cotton. There's one there, so I will forgo the stone and turn in this one right here to represent the second one. So that's that. That's out. Okay. So that was successful. It was sloppy, so one comes here, so that's worth three bucks now. I'm going to run the chain, which is uh, this one right here. Okay. And that's gonna uh, it goes into your, yeah exactly into your weaving mill weaving mill you this is woven. brutal i'm 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 i need to draw more cards here this is hard you need one of these things i need one of those things yeah you need a market office i keep having like a card so Finished? Okay, let's try this all right yeah. i'm going to pass you the pick we are you know if we keep on building every round we're going to be done in like three or Couple four rounds, rounds yeah so i think maybe building should slow depending on yeah this is kind of the point in the game where you want to be that. choosy three cards. about which buildings you build because you want them to create some kind of synergy uh, instead of just kind of, or you can just run, try yeah. to run the game. Okay. Uh, would you like to discard your cards? Yes. I have three cards in my hand, which means I can draw three more. I'm actually going to flush these. So I'm going to discard these and draw six because, uh, well, there, I may, maybe I discarded all the clay for you. We need a good shuffle. <laughs> six. So it's a little while from a shuffle. So let's, let's try. Okay. Okay. Ready? Interesting. Okay, yeah, start flipping. Okay, we have a sun coal, our sunstone, and sun wood. That's it. It's the end of that. Oh my gosh. This is where the, the issue is for us. This is killing us right here. Yeah. yeah. We are... Ugh. Okay. okay, I'm going to say a perfect coal manufacturing here. Mm. So I have two stone. I'm going to go sloppy. Oh, let me count my money real quick. Three, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten, possibly eleven, twelve total. All right, I'm going sloppy and I'm building this. Oh, I don't even know if I have enough money for it, actually. Six, six, yeah, okay. I have made 
My decision. Hmm. Have you made yours? No. Okay. Take your time. Okay, I, I'm gonna try to build this and I'll just, I'll put it over here. Good. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Okay, so let's draw more cards. Sunset time. Okay, one sun and, and a wheat and another wheat. Okay. And another wheat and a sun. Wow, that's nothing a lot of to do with wheat in my game. So. So it's you first. Me first. Okay, so I said I'm gonna do this perfectly over here. It requires one wood, which is there, and two stone. One stone, two stone. Okay. So that's that. So I get two cards. Yep. And with my perfect production. One card in my hand, I will not be putting anything in. Oh, you're not. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say I'm gonna produce with nope. the one card. Nope. Okay. I need to get more cards somehow. Okay. Okay. Oh, and uh, I'm going to build this building. Oh, okay. yeah, that's right. There you go. So we got uh, three, six, seven, eight. Very good. Eight bucks. So this was three, six, seven, eight. Nice. Okay. And that is going to give you a base, a base brick. And three victory points. That's I, true. I, I, yeah, I need points. I don't think I'm going to You're not trying use to synergize? That. I don't think that brick is going to come in anywhere. I mean, that's good. You've been looking for brick. That's actually no, perfect. No, I, I've been looking for brick to... Oh, I need to, brick cards oh, to use this. Oh, yeah but I'm not getting any brick. I'm not drawing any brick cards, right, right, right. so it's not working. That's tough. Okay. So I'm going to produce on my brick manufacturer. I said I was going to do it sloppily. Uh, I see one stone here and two wheat. So that was successful. I only get one good though. It's going to go there. And then I'm going to run my production oh, chain. So did you draw more of them? Huh? Did you draw them? I only have one coal. I can only do it once Okay. because it's a pairing of coal mm -hmm. and clay. And yes, I have one clay mm. that I had drawn. When I draw, uh, when, okay, to be fair, when I drew it, I thought of you. I'm sorry. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> you, you are in my thoughts. That was my idea early. I know. Second building, your third <laughs> building. Uh, okay, um, and now I'm going to build my building. Okay. So I am building a bakery, nice. which is nice because it Sounds requires good. coal and uh, flour, I guess. Is that what that is? And so it costs 11. I'm going to overpay here. One, or two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So it costs took a lot of my my money to do that mm -hmm. but now i have that bakery and i have it yeah and yeah this stinks though i have more than you want i have more than you will be first player more than i want here this will get wiped oh i don't know why i produced so, okay anyway yep i'm first player that's you okay so would you like to discard your hand you know i'm gonna hold on to my hand okay so i'm okay. just gonna draw and i have four cards in my hand so i can only draw two okay so here we go one Two. So I'm going to wipe my entire hand. Your one entire? Card, okay. And I'll draw three. Okay. Okay. Oof. You have a draw? Yep. Sunrise. Okay, stone. No sun. Sunrise wood. Oh. A cotton. Cotton. And sunrise clay. clay. So that is a full sun right there. <sighs> uh, interesting. Boy. Things are getting difficult. Okay. Um, I am going to produce orderly. I'm going to work orderly here on my char burner. Just move these down a little bit. Right there. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can move these up. Figure out what I'm doing here. And I'm not going to... You're not going to build? I'm not going to build this round, no. Because I only have space for two more cards, potentially. So might as well make them, make them good, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm going to gamble here. I'm going to say perfect over here. You're saying perfect? Yeah. All I'm missing is one wood, because I have one here, I have one there. It's the most common resource in the deck. Let's get it. Let's <laughs> okay. All right. And then I'm going to, I'm going to, I'll say I'm going to build this one right here. Ooh. Okay. Okay, let's go sunset. Sun. Oh, wheat. wow. Sun wood. Okay, but I got the wood that I needed. Jeez. Okay. All go. right. So we're going to start with me. I have this char burner that I'm trying to produce uh, orderly with. It requires one wood and two cottons. So this is one cotton and I have one in my hand. So I discard that and I get to, to produce twice. I get two goods, two coal. And now I can run my production chain, which is for wood. I have two wood in my hand. Mm -hmm. So I'm putting them underneath here. And because I did not build a building, I actually chose not to build a building. So like the hire an assistant. I have two yellow cards here. This assistant wants two yellow cards and uh, she costs four, four bucks to hire. So I'm going to spend these four. I'm going to hire her and I have to assign her immediately. I'm going to assign her here. Okay. Done. Right there. Nice. We'll see if we can get that going. 
Okay, so for this one right here, I said uh, a perfect build. So we have one stone, which is needed, and then three wood, one, two, plus my uh, market office three. Mm -hmm. So I get two cards on it. And then I'm gonna run my chain and I happen to have one of these. Yay. Yeah, so these three are gonna And a coal, together. perfect. So, so you turned one, four, one six, dollar into ten. four. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, and I will be building this one right here, which it costs ten, so it's gonna give all these ten right here. I'm gonna be building this one right here, the tailor shop, and it costs ten bucks, so two times five, that's ten. Okay. And okay. hopefully I can synergize now with this thing to go into this thing over here. So <laughs> it took a thing, long time, yeah. This thing to that thing. Yeah, because I this thing needs coal and cloth, which is that right there. So we'll see. We shall. All that's right. It. So this goes to you. Mm -hmm. We are moving on to the next round. Would you like to flush your hand? Um, you know what? I am not going to flush my hand. I'll just draw no. two. Gosh, I need to get more cards. This is this is the tough part right here. But I feel like I need to build. I am going to flush my hand. I need a big market. So these are three cards that, and I have three cards, so I get to draw three more. So it's going to be six total. Okay. Yeah, we do need a big market. We need a big like market. That. This is Two, tough. Three, four, five, six. Something more than just, you know, five cards, six cards. Okay, ready? Oh no, what have I done? Okay, we got wood. We got sun coal. Our sun um, stone. Stone. And sun uh, brick. <laughs> the clay. Clay. <laughs> oh man. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, I'm going to say sloppy over here. Sloppy. This one yet. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna take a risk. I'm gonna go hard here. There. Yeah, I'm gonna say I think this shows up. Yeah, I'm gonna put that right there and say perfect. I'm gunning for some wood. We need some wood. Okay. I'm actually going before I assign my my worker. I'm going to pay the two bucks to move him to move my assistant nice. over to my char burner. That makes a little bit more sense to me. Okay. Because that, the tar burner requires the least amount of resources. Mm -hmm. And then now I'm going to decide where I want to put this worker. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to do sloppily on my brick manufacturer. Mm -hmm. I can't really take that many risks at the moment. And uh, before the end of this, I, I'm, I'm going to build here. I was trying to make that decision. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Do we build? Do we build? I don't have any money. Mm. I'm not going to build. No? No, Come I don't think so. Come on, son, no. Okay, stone. Come on, wood. <laughs> wood. Okay, good. And then we can keep going. Stone. Wow. Time I need to end. There we go. Um, and that's, yeah. Oh, no. That's... Okay. Thanks. So I'm the active player. So I gambled on getting a lot of wood coming. So we got uh, one, two, three wood and two clay to make this happen. Okay. I gambled saying perfect. So I get one, two... This would have been nice had this had any resources on it. It unfortunately doesn't. So this production chain was supposed to run, but I have no resources to take from here and here to push into there. That's it. You're going to build your building? Um, I am going to build my building. So it's going to be this one. It's going to cost me three bucks. So I'm going to do a little overpaying here. It's going to cost, so that's four dollars worth. Okay. And that builds that. Okay. My turn? Yep. Okay. So my assistant requires that the two cotton and the one wood, mm -hmm. I don't have that. So unfortunately this flops. Okay. <laughs> My two dollars that I spent to move oh, to move over there. Yeah. Uh, this this building is going to produce sloppily. So I have my two stone, which is fine. I just need one wheat. And I have one wheat right in my hand. So that'll go away. And I will produce one brick. You have more brick in your hand? Right there. I don't have oh, I don't okay. have clay in like, my hand. Wow, so if you did. the production chain is gonna go to waste. Okay. Unfortunately, I was really hoping that that would produce, but it didn't. Didn't, huh? And I didn't build a building. I didn't do anything. This was not a very good, <laughs> good round for me. Okay. Uh, and that's uh, it. So you will be first player. Where's your little? Thank you. There you go. Okay, I am going to flush my hand. Okay. So I have cards. five cards in my hand. So you get seven. Five, six, seven. Thank you. Um, um, and then we should probably we shuffle should start this. Shuffling. So I am not gonna flush my hand. I'm gonna draw two. Oh, you draw those last two. Two. Yeah, exactly. All right, all shuffled. Here we go. Sunrise. Ready? Yeah. A uh, brick. Okay. Another brick, really. Okay, brick by boring brick. <laughs> you know the reference? Wheat, yes. 
another brick. Wow, all the ones that I would want to take into my hand, right. you know? There all they down are. The drain. There they go. Uh, okay, first sun, wood. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Did you shuffle this? I did shuffle this. Oh my gosh, <laughs> another brick. Wow. This is quite the market. Stone. Here we go. Uh, and now another brick. Oh my gosh. All my brick dreams. Okay. So now we must decide. Okay. I'm going to decide to build this one perfectly, I'll say. Or to produce here perfectly at the weaving mill. I'm going to try to produce perfectly as well on my mill. And maybe I should build a building. I'm going to build this building. Okay. Ready? Yep. All right. Sunset. Sun, sun, wheat. Yes, we got a wheat. And sun, wood. It is over. All right. That's actually not horrible. Oh, that's horrible. Hold on. Mm. Oh, I needed this to produce perfectly. This this is like not working out for me. I mm. moved her there and it's never... It's two points at the end of the game, I guess. Never producing though. But I know, but I really wanted to produce that. Mm -hmm. uh, so I produced this on my mill. I said it was going to produce perfectly, which it did. It's two wheat and two clay. <laughs> yeah. So I get two goods on here and then I can run that production chain. Nice. Which is just discarding um, wheat. wheat from my hand. So I have yeah. one. And now I'm going to construct this building, okay. which is my weaving mill, and it costs five. So what do I care? So this is gonna, this is good for these two. So I don't really want to touch these. I have three here, four here. So, and I have two, hmm, maybe I will do two, four, five. There you go. That's me. Okay. Uh, I took a chance. I said perfect here. Uh, this requires two stone and two cloth, or uh, not cloth, uh, cotton. There is one stone. Okay. So everything else is coming from my hand here. So one, two, three to meet that. Brutal. But I get two. Okay. And I can run the production chain, but I will not be running the production chain. No? That's it. No. All right. So we, this goes to you? Yep. We are getting closer to the end here. Yes. <laughs> how are our, uh, how is the morale? Is the morale low? Oh, it's been low. <laughs> it's been low for a long time. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you're, we're starting, starting I'm, with you? I'm gonna discard down and draw up three cards, please. <laughs> oh boy. I'm going to hold on to my hand and drop two. Anything, oh my gosh. This is something. I guess I'll make my decisions after we see the market. Here we go. Uh, wheat with the sun. Okay. Brick. Clay. That's it. Our clay. Oh, Sorry. two wheat, I one clay. I have nothing to do with wheat in this game. Wow. Okay. I'm going to say I'm going to produce here in my little uh, tailor shop. And I'll do it sloppily. Oh. You know, I'm going to go for broke. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to say I'm going to do it perfectly. You are? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna produce on my mill sloppily, and I'm not gonna. I'm not building. Either. I'm not building anything yeah. this round. Let's see what we can do. All right, come on. Come Sunset. On. Okay. Cotton. Wheat. Wheat. Stone with the sun. Wood with the sun. That's it. Okay, so here we go. Well, I have uh, this one over here, which is the tailor shop, and it required three um, wood and two clay. So I have one clay here, base plus one there, so that's satisfied. Mm -hmm. And then I have one wood, one wood, and I'll give up the third, so that's my three. Okay. Okay, and that's gonna produce two, one, two, to go on top. And then now I can finally run this production chain. Ooh. So I take one coal, and because I only have one coal, if I had more coal, then I could put these two together right here, uh -huh. and they're gonna go right under. So now I have four, six, eight, 12, 16. Wow, you have so much money. 17, 18, 19, yeah. I got the money. Yeah, Mar it's coming. Uh, it's do it's money. coming for you. It's yeah, good. I know. Are you done? That yeah, that's it. Okay, so I am producing perfectly on my char burner. It requires two cotton. I have one cotton here. There's one wood, and here is my uh, second cotton. So that's that. I'm gonna run my production chain after I f figure out if I can do all this. So this uh, mill needs two wheat, which I have over there, and two clay. There's only one clay, but good thing I produced. Sloppily. So I didn't take my good for this yet. So I get one good here because it was produced by an assistant. And I produce sloppily here. So that's also just one good. Run your chain. And now I'm going to run my production chains. So 
This mill requires wheat, which I actually don't have, but this char burner requires uh, wood, which I have five of. So I'm gonna put them all in here for five bucks. And I did not build a building this time. So that's okay, it. So we're both at seven buildings, huh? We're both at seven buildings. We're like hovering over the edge, but not quite player. there. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. We're, we're in it for the long game, apparently. Yeah. We are. Uh, I Do I want to flush this? Are you going to flush? No, I'm going to keep it. So I get to draw three cards, because I only have one card left in my hand. Nice. Two, three. I will be flushing these two and going for four. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Let's see if we've been... <sighs> Oh, okay. Where is the card? <laughs> no. Sunrise. I'm looking for something very specific and it's just not coming around. Oh, one sun. And uh, <laughs> cotton. Another cotton. Okay, this is good. Brick. Wood. Perfect. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Another wood. This is great. And that's it. Three woods. Three wood, huh? Three wood. Yeah, I'm going to produce perfectly here, or orderly. And do we build a building? Maybe we should just do it. Are you going to build? I'm going to do it. I'm going to end this madness. Mm, okay, I'm going to build this one right here. And and I will produce sloppily over here. So you're building a building and producing sloppily? Yes. All right. For sure? Final answer? Final answer. That's Let's it. see that sunset market. Come on. Wood. We got wood. Stone. Oh, dang it. I should have built perfectly. Okay. Uh, we have wheat. With one sun. Oh, man. How stone. brutal. Stone. This is a lot of stone. There's a sun. That's it. That's it. You see two suns. Okay. Yeah, two suns. I didn't right see there. this card, so. Two suns, two suns. Yeah, that's it. That is the market. Uh, so I'm going to go first. Uh, my assistant is going to produce, I believe, yeah, two cotton and one wood. So I get one coal on my char burner. And then my, I'm gonna see about that production chain. Oh, actually I actually don't have any wood, so I don't run that production chain. Mm -hmm. uh, and then my bakery is going to produce perfectly because we have two wood here. We have one, two cotton, and this is my third cotton. So because we produced perfectly, we get two goods on that. And I'm going to run my production chain. Ooh. So it's, Flour, which I have here, because my mill produces flour, plus coal, which I produced here. Eesh. So I'm just going to keep on bringing them there? in. I, I think I only have three. That's quite a bit. Three. One, two, three. Ooh. So that was good. Each one is worth four? Oh. I don't have... Yeah, that's it. Oh, and I'm going to build this building. Oh. So this <laughs> is my iron over. smelter. Cost eight. So I just take two of these. Four, eight, because all of the bread is worth four bucks each and that's my turn this is my bakery at bakes bread look how cute that little building is it's very nice um all right and now with to you yeah it's not gonna be glorious uh so i <laughs> under gambled here and then we all of a sudden got two stone so two stone uh two um cotton so uh -huh. i i said sloppy didn't know that was gonna happen so i get one of these and i will run the production chain of these two guys, so that's gonna both go underneath. The two cotton. Two cotton, exactly. And then I will build this one right here, which is worth three for two points. So that's just nice. one of these out. Very good. There you go. So we have built eight buildings each, mm -hmm. which means we've triggered the end of the game. We are going to play one more round and then the game will be over. So I'm first player. You are first player to start the final round. Could never find a yellow card in my hand towards the end there. That was needed. That was important. Okay, let's see. Are you going to flush? What gets me points? Yes, I will flush. I will flush my one card to get three. Okay. All right. I have two cards in my hand. I'm going to it flush is. it. And because it's two cards, I get to drop three. So I'm going to drop a total of five. So let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh. Hopefully, hopefully it's something. Oh, wow. Good. Ready? Yes. Sunrise. Not anything yet. Okay, wood, yet. cotton, one sun. Stone with a sun. Stone with a sun. All right, so we got two stone, a wood, and a cotton. What are we going to produce? I am saying perfect here. Uh, Remember, at the very end, all our chains will produce. That's right. I'm going to produce sloppily here, and I'm not going to build. 
Oh gosh, I don't know. Are we gonna pull another cotton? <laughs> That's the scary part. I'm gonna build this one right here. Oh, you're building a ninth building? Yeah. All right, I, I have made my decision. Let's go sunset. Last sunset market. I need two really quick suns. Let's make it a beautiful Super market. Super sun, yeah, sun. Oh my gosh, no! I and sun. Oh, this is like the biggest slap in the face because I decided to produce sloppily thinking that there was no more mm. cotton and then it just produced cotton. Okay. It it's did. you first. It's me first. Okay, yeah. so uh, here I am. I'm going back to the home base, the coal. So uh, two stone and one wood. So I say perfect. One, two. And I totally wish I happened to draw wood, but I never drew a wood in this last part, so I cannot stuck anything, stick anything underneath there. Okay. Oh, and I will build building. Oh this yeah, that's here. right. So this costs two. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna. How many do I have here? I have two for the last production chain. One, two. Okay, so I'll overpay one one buck here. So that's three dollars. So put that over there. Okay. Um. So well, this never produced me anything. I don't think. So this is going to produce perfectly. We have two cotton, one wood over there. So I get one, well, I guess a perfect orderly thing doesn't sure. matter for the assistant, but it gives me one. And I, do I have a wood in my hand? Yeah. So I ran my production chain just for one. And then this is going to produce uh, sloppily, even though I could have produced orderly, but it's two stone and two cotton. But I, I said sloppily, so I only get one on here. But it's going to allow me to run this production chain for the iron mm -hmm. smelter, which is, is coal and stone in hand. So I only have one stone in my hand. So it's only going to produce once, but still it's pretty good. Still pretty good. It turns uh, one you buck on into six. So I'll just do that. Okay. I did not build a building because I'm going to hire an assistant. Mm -hmm. So this assistant, I had my eye on that one so long ago. I never, I could never get a yellow card oh. in hand. I just never got ever? one. Well, when it was eligible, like after I oh. built this, I waited for a yellow, yellow, yellow. It never came. came. Yeah. So this requires this uh, white, yellow, red, and green building, and it costs four to hire. So here's my four, because the bread is four bucks each, and I'm just going to place the assistant yeah, there. Yeah, it, it's, it's over now. The so. end of the game, yeah. so it doesn't really matter. So we have reached the end of the game. Uh, in this variant, we can run all of our production chains as if they've all been worked on. So, you want me to just do all mine right now? Sure. It's real quick. So, uh, I'm just going to feed into this little tailor shop here. Uh, one fabric, one coal. One fabric, one coal. That goes there. Okay. So, then I'm going to run my production chains. I have three wheat in my hand. So, I'm pretty much just going to produce on my mill. Nice. So that's all three oh, you on top of that mill. <laughs> and then, because I have uh, my bakery, which takes coal and flour, I'm just going to run them over and over and see what I can do. That's one and one, one and one, and one and one. And that is all of my production, I believe. Because I don't have any of that. I don't have any clay. Yeah, that's it. So, that's it. We've reached the end of the game. So we're going to count up our points. Okay. So every five gold is a point. So you these... want to do them individually? Yeah, sure. Okay. So who wants to go first? I'll go first. Okay. okay. So uh, I have four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36. So that is seven points. Seven points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll just represent these cards as points. All right. Oh, smart. Okay. Okay. Uh, count the whole thing up. If you want. Okay, sure. 7, okay. Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 points. Okay. 26. So should I do my my goods first as well? Yeah, so that we yeah get easier? your money. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so these are worth one buck. Okay, let's do this one first. So this Ooh. is these are worth $4 each. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 44. So that's 44. These are three dollars each, so one, two, three, so nine plus 44, 53. 53 yeah. And these are wor worth one buck each, so 53, four, five, six, seven, 58. So 58 divided by, so that's 11? Uh, 11 yeah, points. 11 points. So it's 11 points in, in the goods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I'll just use that to represent those extra points. So it's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 
21, 21 plus, plus 11, 32. 11, 32. So 32 to 26. Yep, that's it. That's I'm actually surprised that it was only by six points. That was good. Yeah, it wasn't a, it wasn't a big I difference. thought I was going to get completely blown out there. No, I feel like if you are able to complete the eight buildings, it's not going to be like... points there, yeah. Yeah, you, get, you still get those... Each building is worth like two or three points. Towards the end, yeah. I, I if you notice, I, I did really cheapy buildings, knowing that there's no way I was going to get these assistants going or anything like that. So I, I just went cheapy buildings, knowing that it's a better conversion rate than five to one. So I get three to two, three to two, two to two. Mm. So that way, the money that I do have in the end that I saved, I can then just turn them in for points. So right. that's how I try to min-max it there at the end. Yeah. Well done. That is it. Done. We it. are done. Good job. Yeah, good job. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so let's talk about it, shall sure, we? Sure, yeah. Uh, we just finished this play, and uh, what did you think? Um, I, I like it better with the new rules. The, uh, the second edition rules are much better. The first time we ever played it, we actually didn't even know that there was a second edition rule book. Yeah, we thought it was just, we played the first edition, we read the rule book, and we thought like this, it is what it is. It and is what so it is, yeah. If you, if it wasn't clear, the difference is that in the original game, you cannot flush your hand. That's a big one. So you're pretty much stuck with your hand each turn. Mm -hmm. um, what is the, another big one? Uh, that market, the market office. Uh, oh, producing one? at the end. Oh, producing being at the able end, yep. to produce all of your cards at the end that's a big deal as well yeah yeah Cause because you, just... you built this whole thing up and then it's like oh the game ends it's like but i want to see what it can all do together so mm -hmm. so just i mean there are five different things that they changed in the rules but just those two rule changes alone i, I feel made a big difference yeah in terms of the gameplay mm -hmm. uh theme wise what do you think of the theme uh i mean it's a card game so uh well you you actually really like we haven't spoken about the illustrator yet yeah and so naveen loves the illustrator that alexander i, Mr. I do I, I i like clemens franz, clemens franz. A lot. yeah i i'm a big fan of his artwork um i think it's because when i got into the hobby it's something that i used to see a lot mm. and so that kind of like very cartoonish um, I don't know. It, it's very, very characteristic of him, his art style, and I, I, I don't know. It just appeals to me so much. Yeah. How about yourself? I I think yeah. it's cute. Um, I think he's very talented. Like that's he's a very talented illustrator mm -hmm. for sure. And I really like that it's kind of like uh, characteristic now, I guess, of of some of his games. But uh, theme wise, I thought that that it was really interesting in the way that they merged the theme with the mechanics. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, you're building like, in shops. You're going. You're putting people to go work. Mm -hmm. and then, we kind of yeah. touched upon this in the last game that we did, which was um, Port Royal, and where you kind of see the beginning of that interchange mechanism that um, Alexander Pfister sort of employs. I mean, this is a very extreme version of that. Like yeah. pretty much the entire game, you are looking for synergies and trying to convert one thing for another. Yeah. Like, that is the, That's the game. entire gameplay. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the actual game itself there's very little player interaction so because of that except it... for the competition with uh the assistants because i definitely yes, i definitely recognized i was like oh man if she can build a green building then it's kind of over mm -hmm. and then i was like thinking okay i need to be first player so that i can have priority but i just never got that yellow card so it, technically there's no blocking or anything like that mm -hmm. but there is that competition for those assistants. for those assistants yeah. but because of that it doesn't really matter what player count you play at i don't think I feel uh, like no, it yeah. feels the same. Yeah. And like we played where we took our turns one after the other, but you can, I we played it where people played it simultaneously. simultaneously yeah. So it doesn't even have to go as long as it did for us. Right. We were just kind of doing it so that we can demonstrate it. Mm -hmm. uh, so it does get quicker. Um, in terms of replayability and variability, the... There's a lot there. There's a lot of combinations. It's fun yeah. to kind of try to figure out which high ticket buildings you're going to kind of go for but that, that is also very dependent on which cards you get yeah. earlier on yeah right yeah. Mm -hmm. like this is the first time that i've built the bakery and the bakery requ requires me to have a card that produces flour and my char burner, char burner yeah. so in other games you can get um buildings that produce like cattle and then you can slaughter the cattle yeah. for like <laughs> yeah. other things and those right. are, are typically like high priced items so it's interesting to try to figure out which cards you're going to try to yeah, synergize you have to get those cards in the right time and then if you have that card and you have a hand that's not so good then you're going to want to wait the next round and not flush your hand because you're like i need this card not to get flushed out mm -hmm. so you want to have to maintain that and then just take two cards and then try to work with it and <laughs> see if you can build it so that Risky. then in the round after you can synergize so there's there is a lot of things that that uh, can change from game to game. Yeah, yeah. and honestly, we're, I'm going to be completely honest. The first few times that we played this game, before learning about the rules changes, 
we weren't fond of it. Yeah, the mainly first time I played because, it, I, did, I didn't like it. Yeah, mainly mm. because the look of the draw is so brutal sometimes. It, it happened like, to me today. It did. The look of the draw was tough, yeah. But it was still, would you it's say, still it was manageable. Still I, manageable. I still worked around it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, without those rules changes, it's like, really you build these buildings and then you just kind of depend on what shows up and it's like well that's just not gonna I guess work they never run yeah. yeah i guess they never run and then you get to eight cards and the game ends and it pretty much just becomes a game of who can build eight cards first and score, and the, score points the points on the cards. sometimes yeah. right but with those rules changes it makes the game longer but it makes the game more strategic it does in my yep. opinion yep. so um with those rules changes i i enjoy the game quite quite a bit more uh, I actually do prefer this over Port Royal also. Yeah, same. So this is a game that came a year after Port Royal. Yes. And it does still feature quite a bit of pusher luck, but it's um, it's like an informed pusher luck. Like you know what you're getting. Yeah, yeah. Some days you mm -hmm. won't produce perfectly, which you, you did see in this playthrough. And th there's that but... sloppy ability. So then yeah, you can so always there's like, that sloppy okay, to mitigate that. Mitigate it, yeah. But it's always like an informed pusher luck. Like you now make a decision based off of what you see. Right. Based right. off of half the information. Especially once you have more buildings. You're like, okay, well, that's not going to work for this building. So I'll, I'll gamble on this building over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So um, I'm pleased with how much, how much more I've enjoyed this now that we've played it with the rules changes and how far we've come. Mm -hmm. Uh, in general, if you're looking to play this game, it seems like you have two options. You can go for the the true filler, you know, intention of this game and just deal with the pusher luck aspects and have a 30 minute game, or you can go for something longer and be more strategic. It's up to you to decide mm -hmm. how you want to play it. Yep. That's exactly it. Yeah. Yep. Cool. So that was Oh My Goods by Alexander Pfister. Uh, like we were mentioning at the beginning of this video, he did release like four games this year. Four games 2015. in 2015, yeah. So, I mean, that's a lot of games. That's a lot, yeah. So over the next few weeks, we're going to feature the other three. So stay tuned if you're interested. It's going to be... Um, Mombasa. Mombasa. Room Service. Room Service and Out of the Sky. Out of the Sky, So yeah. the first two games that we featured were a shorter filler type, and mm -hmm. then now we're going to get into gonna the longer, yeah. heavier stuff. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the playthrough. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. Bye. Bye.